guys, what's up? Shadow here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 VR. There's a patch for this game out right now. Um, I'm kind of excited Please. because I want to test something Please real quick. Let me let me go. Let me go real quick. What if they're listening to us? Onwards and forwards. I've read the change log. It was quite interesting, actually. There was one thing I was very excited about, um, mainly. But first, a bit of bad news. The game crashed like four times on me when I tried to load this save game. So that's not really an, an improvement. <laughs> but hey, you know, it, it said they fixed a lot of crashes. So I'm inclined to believe them. All right. Let me go to the workbench real quick. And I think you might know what I'm about to do. There we are. Um... I'm not quite sure if we still have it. Short scope. Well, we don't have the module anymore. Still, we're gonna try it out because apparently they added scope support. If the weapon would load. There we go. Oh, there we go. This is awkward as hell and takes you a bit out of the game, but it works. Interesting. And then hold breath. Actually, that works quite fantastically. Sweet. So I think this still counts as a pistol. So even if we have a scope on it. All right, I think it's time to test this baby out because today we're gonna attempt two things. Where it is. One of which will be the um, quest fire support, at least to start with Paladin Dance. <laughs> oh no, the Museum of Witchcraft, not really, no. Um, we wanna do the fire support quest, the beginning in the police courtyard. Um, because I think if I remember correctly, there's like a part in that courtyard where you can stand, where the ghouls cannot really reach you. So this is like a safe way to get experience, hopefully, we'll see. And the other thing is, we, I would like to go to the um, assembly plant um, in Lexington and just kill some raiders, you know, for, for experience and loot, basically. Because right now, Confidence Man, we cannot do this quest, I think. Because the, the boss there will be a skull-level enemy. Meaning, it's going to be quite hard. So, yeah. You know, I really have to say, it, it kind of takes you out of the game because it, it basically only shows you the scope. But at least it works. Um, that's the problem. The problem... Plenty of shots with inside the city. this stuff like this and the reloading being just a button press is that I have played hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. I have seen how accurate, how cool and interesting it can be to absolutely do anything manually, you know? And therefore I find this kind of lacking. Also, this is w weird <laughs> that it goes completely dark. Ooh, not sure I want to engage mutants. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see. What is the best, quickest, and also safest way to the police station? I think we can go over this bridge. We, we might need to sneak, but it should be possible. I think. Oh, well. So, yeah, we're going to attempt fire support and the assembly plant. And I say attempt... Because in survival, there is never a guarantee for success. <laughs> tin can. I think we need tin, right? Aluminium and tin are some things we need. Alright, let's go into sneak mode, just in case. But you know, I like that the feature is there, the, 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 the scope. It at least makes the item or the, the attachment usable. Because having attachments in your game that do nothing, that are not usable at all, is a bit dumb. You know? Speaking of, I've still not found out how to use the bayonet. To be fair, I haven't really looked. Still. <laughs> right. 
So let me let, let me just I don't want to shoot, but Shouldn't there be any raiders? Is there a problem with like loading models in the distance because then sniper rifles are useless? Oh no, there is one. I guess that's the power armor user probably. Hard to say, but I Oh, there they are. They just they hit for some reason. They didn't want to be seen. <laughs> right, now let's think. Police station is um, I think somewhere over here-ish. There's the, the, the plant, obviously. That's where we're gonna go afterwards, if we survive this whole ordeal. Uh, let me orientate myself real quick. Let's see the map, shall we? I think the police station is somewhere up here. I think. Jesus, I, it's been a long time since I've been in uh, in these outskirts here. Also, you have to be super careful. There's mines lying around somewhere. And if a mine hits you, even in the normal game, mines are terrifying. They can kill you. Campus law. Interesting. Why did the console peasant cross the road to render the building on the other side? Well, it appears I have to do that as well. Can I? Did I now hit her or was that my dog? I'm not quite sure. Isn't there an inside here I should be able to see? Jesus Christ, man. You know, you can be happy and praise this game all you want with the update and stuff, but this is kind of dumb. Woo! Headshot! Nice! You know, I can see out now, but I couldn't see in. That was, well, interesting. Okay, come on. Seriously? This is ridiculous. So yeah, you can already hear the gunfire from the police station, so it's this way. We have to be quite careful entering because we don't want to get caught between the ghouls. Obviously. Quite a lot of firepower. Right. So it's very important that we get right where we want to be. Barrel goods, hello. And right here. That's where we want to be. Because basically, I think that should allow us not to be targeted by the ghouls. And just let Paladin dance, basically, um, fight. As you can see, it works quite well. <laughs> we just want the um, the experience from, you know, the uh, actual quest. Yay! Kill them. Nice. That went off without problems. Sweet. Hello, Paladin Dance. Good a friend. Hi. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Jesus, he is fucking big in this power armor. So I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult. Whoa! Um... Vault. I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Yeah, sure. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Very well. 
I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Yes, sir! Oops. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Right, so we're not going to do the follow-up quest right away. But actually, I intend to ally myself with the Brotherhood, pretty much. Oh, hello, dog meat. Oh, sorry, you got caught, huh? Poor thing. Hey. Oh, don't run in front of me. So yeah, I intend to join the Brotherhood basically because they got this pseudo quick travel. So yeah, that's why I did that quest. You see, almost full um, level up. That's sweet. So yeah, the Brotherhood obviously have the um, the cool um, vertebrate transportation, which is immensely useful in survival. I think you can get this also another way. I'm not quite sure how that goes, but I think you can acquire the vertebrate grenades with another faction too. But it takes you longer. So allying myself at the beginning with the Brotherhood, I think, is one of the best options for me. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm really, I'm really sure the Brotherhood is like the best faction at the beginning of the game. Ooh, buff out, day tripper. Lots of ammo. Hollow tag. We don't need that. Don't need any of that. Good. Right, let's go inside the police station mainly because I think there is a bed inside so we can save. Because we'll have to fight our way through a bunch of ferals to get to the... Um, the assembly plant. Well, we don't need to, but I, I intend know. to. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all hard um, 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 quit squirming so I can get these bandages off. I'm not quite sure anymore where that is, the bed. I was pretty sure there is a bed. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, there. Right. Oh, I can only sleep three hours on this. Right. Well. Off we go! You know, sometimes I really wish... I think there's actually a mod for this that um, just lets you save at a bed and not necessarily sleep. Whoa! Oof. That's harsh, man. If the text just load like that, it really takes you out of the freaking game sometimes. <laughs> Alright, let's, um, let's be sneaky right now. Can't see any ferals right now. Not obvious ones. Ah, there's one. Oh god! Oh, you just hit them. Okay, that's good. You know, because I couldn't hit anything else. I kind of thought it wouldn't work, but it works perfectly, the, ma the melee, so you just hit things with it. Also, it doesn't make a swoosh noise, you know? You know what I mean? Swoosh. <laughs> so, here I have to be very careful as well, because somewhere over there are mines. Oh, jeez, they move fast. Uh, dog meat! That is nice. I like that. The the bayonet, it really works well, if the, especially if these guys are launching at you. The problem with w what I found with bayonets in um, the normal Fallout is, especially with ghouls that are charging at you, 
there's like a wind up time before you strike and therefore oftentimes you will miss your opponent but like here you can really just quick slash damn dead you know what i mean so you can time it perfectly I like that Whoa. nice dog meat good boy Just need to be careful. 308? Ah, yes, a bolt action pistol. I just wanted to say a hunting rifle. So we can make like a real big sniper rifle. Although we said we wanted to do pistols. So. Right, now careful. There's two ways to avoid mines. One, deactivate them. Two, run like hell. There's one. Should we take the risk in trying to act deactivate it Woo! okay I was <laughs> I was really afraid that I would like hit the wrong button and then it I would blow up but it works or maybe you know target the wrong thing if you reach out like with your arm like that you can almost if you're careful you can reach the frag mine without triggering it you know like you would in the in the normal game, really. So, all right. Um, let me think. I would love to save somewhere right now, but I'm not quite sure there is a good place here. I don't want to go too near there because sometimes there's actually enemies over there. Yeah, they're fighting. I'm not going there. I'm not sure. Sometimes there's like protectrons, high-level protectrons there. And Mr. Gutsies and stuff like that. And I don't want to fight that, obviously. There's a Brahmin herd. So, oh, I can actually see the guy on top. Not really the weapon to snipe the guy on top there. But, you know, I can see him, which is a, already a good sign, in my opinion. Right, let's sneak here. Is there a... S I just need to think. Is there a safe point which we can reach really close by? There is a hut over there, but there are the spare mutants, the Yao... Whoa, lost my balance there. The Yao Guai? There's like one or two over there. I don't want to tussle with those. They're gonna rip me apart. I know that for a fact, so... And of course, there's the bob one of the bobbleheads, I think, up there. So... That's one of the reasons I want to go there, because, you know, it's nice to have bobblehead. Oh, no, wait, that's actually not the, where the Yaguais are. That's the Children of Adam base. I think we can go there. That should be fine. There might be some mole rats, but I should be able to defeat mole rats, right? Do I have... Yeah, I have stim packs on, on quick slot. Good. Just in case. There's quite big rats over there. Oh, and I just healed. Nice. Because level up. Oh, whoops. Right. Decisions, decisions. I could get a second slot in... Um, in Gunslinger or... You know, I know toughness is not the best pair point spent. There's better ones, like... Um, technically, if we're going down here, moving target is very good, right? Where is it? Moving target, this one. The problem is, in VR, running and gunning is not as easy as in the normal game. Therefore, I'm a bigger fan of resistance in VR. In the normal game, I probably wouldn't take toughness. But yeah, let's actually take another point in Gunslinger. Do more, more damage and increase range, which is nice. Sweet! Right, I... I think somewhere here is a bed. But yeah, there's also mole rats. Hey. Whoa! Oh, that was nasty. There's more. There's guaranteed there's more. Whoa! You know what? This is like a hack. Talk to your dog to uh, set a target and you get like a laser. <laughs> that is amazing. It actually works. 
Did my dog just get infected with something? See if he had anything worth taking. Oh, well, yeah. Um, I'm still not sure that's all of them, because I think somewhere down there can also be some mole rats. But I actually I want to look for a bed right now. Uh, nothing here. Oh, there's there's a mattress. I just saw it. Nice. Well, there's some rats here, but, you know, it's better than nothing, right? Sweet! We got a level up already. I mean, I want to... Like, this is my secondary goal. At least try to, um... Thirsty and peckish. Right. I want to at least, um... Try to clear all the raiders from the outside of the plant. That would be my secondary goal today. If I can do that. That would be very nice indeed. So, let's see. Nom nom nom. That is good. Let's try to not consume too much dirty water. Oh god, come on. It's a bit fiddly, this menu, sometimes. There we go, purified water. Yes! Sweet! Right, there's also a grenade trap down there, so... I'm not quite sure where... Oh, there's the trigger, you can actually see it. Oh, somebody triggered to the trigger. And dog meat don't care. Weird sound. A nuka grenade? Oh boy, we will keep that. Holy shit, a nuka grenade. I didn't expect to find one of those that early in the game. Nice. Love the bayonet, I really do. Great addition to my weapon. I think this will be our main weapon for now. I mean, there, you can't find that ammunition. Oh fuck, I'm infected? Shit. That's not good. Okay. Um, I think we have to... Oh, we're really infected, aren't we? Yeah, shit. Okay, back to Diamond City. We are infected. Shit. Oh, I hate infection. That's one of the worst diseases that you can get in Fallout. Seriously, man. Right, I think we'll we'll take the scenic route. <laughs> you know, around the, the coastline. Less um less enemies. Because we're taking periodic damage anyway, so I'm not really inclined to fight more. Also, when, we, when we're back at Diamond City, I'll have to check if um, how much time we have already played. Because I intended to record like 15, 20 minutes, up to a half an hour, and then I'm good. I like this game in short bursts, I really have to say. You know, that especially like the fighting part against the ghouls, the mole rats, that was really funny. That was good. I like that. You know, engaging, fighting, slashing. Also, this... You know, engaging from afar, getting some good headshots. Made the game a lot more enjoyable, this one. Oh, damn, infection spreads. Let's go, doggy. We'll come back here later to uh, rescue Vadim. I wonder if I would just waltz into there right now. Is Vadim already there, even though I didn't talk to Travis yet? I guess he, m he must be, right? I guess I... What would happen if we save Vadim without Travis? Is that even possible? Because the act of saving Vadim makes Travis confident, right? So if we're doing it without him, will it not work? Will he stay awkward? That would be an interesting way to solve this quest because I like the awkward Travis more on the radio. Because I like his awkward announcements, his stupid jokes. And then he laughs awkwardly and like, oh, stupid, stupid. I have to say, I really like that. It gives him a lot of character. While the more confident one is just like bland. I don't know. Maybe it's because also um, when I first played Fallout 4, 
I actually didn't do that quest for a long, long time. I didn't even know there was that quest, actually. So, that Get over there. Oh, I have my laser sight again. I really need to do that more often. That's a clever trick. Um, it also... Oh, God, it also works in, in, in scope mode. That's neat. Uh, what I wanted to say. So, I was um, used to um, hearing Travis awkwardly. So, maybe that caused me to like the awkward Travis more. Maybe. Could be, right? I mean, if you hear something for a long, long time, you get accustomed to it, you know it, you love it, plus potentially, I guess. I, if you if you go to Diamond City and do this quest like immediately, the, the second it's available, I guess you might not care too much. But I actually do. I like Travis the way he is. And that's a way better message than, oh, you must must uh, change yourself. You must uh, change according to others. No, be yourself, man. I mean, as long as people like to listen to your awkward radio, that is. Dog meat? Dog meat? Hey, boy. Where did dog meat go? What the hell? I just felt like in a horror movie. You, came from across the child? you know, um, you're just walking, thinking nothing of it, thinking your companion is beside you. You turn around and suddenly, they're gone. <laughs> oh well. So we're gonna get treated by the doctor because this infection is, yeah, quite nasty. Wait, is it already too late to visit the doctor? How does the infection work in my, if I sleep? Will it kill me? Might do, right? Hey, dog meat, you're back again. Nice. Yeah, because I think it's already too late to visit the doctor. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, it is. Can I steal antibiotics or something? There are not any antibiotics here. Ugh. Awkward. And even if I find the doctor, I don't think I can actually... You know what? Let's just go and save. <laughs> I mean, you know, that infection, it's spread now in like a... I don't know, every minute or so, which I'm not quite sure what that means in in-game time. Oh, damn. Need to pay for another... Hey, Yefim. Please, bring my brother back. Yes, yes, I need. I just Please need a room. Bring my brother back. I need a room. Tell me if you need a room, otherwise the bar is over there. All right, here's your money. Room two is yours. Enjoy. Thank you. Um, should we take any precaution? Precautions, you know? Maybe take a... A uh, stim pack or something? Yes. So we at least need to sleep like 11 hours before it's open again. I'm not sure I can survive that. Maybe the infection does not spread if you're sleeping. You know, the worst thing would be I wake up dead and then basically it reloads every time with me being dead. It does not, which is nice. Thank you, game. You're not just like deadlock me in a not recoverable state. Well, to be fair, I could just, you know... Oh, it spreads again. Um, basically... Open the game. Make this game not um, survival mode. Open the game with console, make me invulnerable. Stuff like that. But it would be kind of sad if I had to do that. We offer a wide variety of medical treatments. Oh, that's cool. That's also new, this indicator. Yeah. See what's wrong with me, doctor. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? Um, cure health? Is that it? I think it is. Wait, cure rats? No chem. Yeah, cure health. Took a few I guess. Bad hits recently. Got knocked around. Scrapes and bruises, but it's probably a good idea to get them fixed up. 
I'm not quite sure if that is the right healing option. Done. Now, it is. is there anything else bothering you? Sweet. Nothing. Thank you very much. No, we're done. Take better care of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I love you. That you can just walk away. <laughs> Right, let me just check how long we've been recording already, and uh, we'll see what we'll do next. Got a reason for bothering me? Get lost. Alright, I think we have already been recording for almost half an hour. Although, to be fair, at the beginning, um, a lot of the time I've been recording, I've actually recorded the times it crashed, and that was surely like five minutes of me trying to get this game up and running. Um, still, I'll just go and save, and then next time, hopefully, we can make it to the assembly plant without suffering an infection of some sort. Right? Oh, I think that was the green cloud. That was that. Because I think if you're, at least with the um, Vault 81, is it? The Vault 81... Um, Infection with the mole rats. That applies to you if your companion is hit, right? So maybe it works in survival like that too? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I've been Shadow. I'll see you next time. Take care.